Let's talk about turning this polycarbonate corrugated sheet into aquarium lids. What's going on YouTube? Inventory King. On a video I did in a couple uh, weeks back, I had a lot of requests for how did I build my lids. Uh, in that video I did uh, show how I built it, but I wanted to go a little bit more into detail on this video. So this is uh, plastic corrugated polycarbonate sheets. Uh, you can get these in about eight foot long uh, strips and uh, they're a couple feet wide uh, at any hardware store or most hardware stores and uh, you can measure and cut these down to size for your lids. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys where to find it at your hardware store. Sorry, Corey, it was Home Depot. And uh, I will show you it on my tanks so you guys can build yourself inexpensive, effective aquarium lids. All right, so this is gonna be near the lumber section. So here's all the corrugated material along with other plastics. And I pulled one out. So this is the corrugated plastic. And as you can see right here, it's a um, corrugated polycarbonate sheet. So what this is, is as you can see, it just kind of waves in and out. Just like so. What I'm going to do is take a couple pieces out of my original video and put it in this video so that it's all in one video for everybody. 34 and 9 sixteenths uh, in length and the width is 16 and 13 sixteenths. That's what I got on the, on the top of the tank. So uh, I would definitely suggest when you buy this stuff to buy a nice pair of cutters. You will need it to get through this plastic. So let's get this sucker cut. Now I've got to make one more and lids are made. I will wash them and put them on the tank. So here's the lids on uh, the Minoka White Lip tank. Uh, what's really cool is because of the ridges in this plastic, it allows you to put all of your plugs and hoses, uh, or excuse me, wire and hoses through here so that it's not going to compromise the lid. Also, it's easy to cut to um, accommodate for your filtration, your plumbing. I also have it on my 29 gallon tanks right here at the bottom of the stand. So as you can see, it is also on the Restratus tank. So I have it on four total tanks as we speak. And again, perfect little area for the cords, for the plumbing. And I have it on both sides. Again, just makes it highly customizable, effective, and inexpensive. And uh, I'm happy that I seen this and uh, decided to do it. Okay, everyone. So that is what I use to make inexpensive, effective aquarium lids for my uh, tanks that don't have any canopies or anything else. You can go glass if you'd like. Uh, again, I just found that the plastic depending on the size tanks that you're going to have, are an inexpensive alternative that are very sturdy. Um, as you can see, these things are quite sturdy. You know, yeah, I'm bending it, but it's, it's quite sturdy. So uh, the only thing that I had with these was when some fish, as far as I know, were fighting, um, you know, they're jumping and stuff like that. They were able to sneak out the side, so you're gonna kinda wanna, you know, make sure that, um, the sides are real, you know, tight so that the lids aren't going to be popping off uh, or the fish aren't going to be able to pop through the lids. But other than that, they have been perfect. And uh, I hope that everyone, again, found this effective. Please comment, like, subscribe, 
and stay tank.